Do you want to do the video? Hello, Craig. How are you doing, alright? Yeah. Jet Black Heart. Jet Black Heart Nitro. Yeah. Pause beautifully. Look at that. Brewdog Cardiff. Awesome. Let's give it a review. It's beer o'clock on Real Craft Beer, doing about half a daily, Brew Wales. What are we doing? What do we have? Um, well, we're in Brewdog. We've got, and Brewdog have finally done a beer named after Simon's ex-wife. <laughs> so it's called Jet Black Heart there. <laughs> Lovely stuff. <laughs> Lovely stuff. Yeah. As you just seen... And it's not a sour. It's not a sour beer. It's not a sour. <laughs> it's not a sour <laughs> um, As you just seen, we just poured out the nitro version. From, from the keg. So we're going to do a bit of a comparison, we're going to review the beer uh, and compare it to the to the keg version. What, what's the, what do you think the differences will be Arthur between nitro, non-nitro? I think with the nitro we're going to miss out a lot of the aroma. Okay. Because that pleasant looking head, that yeah. tight creamy head we're not going to get the same aroma as we're getting in the bottle. Okay. So, the first thing to do is just do a comparison of the two. Smell it. It's, an, oat, it's an oatmeal milk stout at 4.7% ABV. Okay, you're getting some aroma there, but there's a lot more in, in the bottled version. There is, there is, yeah. So chocolate, lots of chocolate, lots of oatmeal. Um, very sweet. You're picking up a lot of sweetness. I'm in not knowing the room. Though. It's almost licorice I'm picking up there. Absolutely. I, I wish I had smell a vision. To absolutely smack on what I have, I have a saying. So the nitro version. If that tight creamy head is kind of stopping the aroma coming out. But as you can see with the the bottle version with no no head on the beer. Just remember if you um, are out. watching this on an iPhone you can reset it to uh, 1970 <laughs> and then you'll be able to actually smell the same uh, beer we're having. Oh, they, they did have smell a vision they like that. No, no, it's, a, it, it's just a little hack on the um, iPhone. Uh, right. Reset it back to 1970. Okay. Date, okay. Uh, you can actually start smelling it. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna dive into the the keg version first. Oh, wow. It's very smooth and that mm. chocolatey, dark chocolate. Mm. Reminds me of the 1990s beer. Beer from the 1990s. Kind of your brain smooth, your tetany smooth, your, but. With lots of flavour. Lots of flavour. Lots of flavour. I mean, I'm getting some black currants in there. It actually reminds me of um, Guinness Black. Yeah. <laughs> really? I'm that old. Um, yeah. That type of um, thing there. It's really good. And then the bottle version. Let's try the bottle version. Not dry I mean, I'm getting oh, very yeah. flavours in there. Yeah. Um, black, black currants, hops, bitterness. Nice bitterness. Um, you get that creamy oatiness as well from the beer. Um, what do they call it? What's the name of it? The milky lactose. Lactose. A lot, a lot of lactose in there as well. Flavors. Well, well, lactose ferments out. So it's a non-fermentable sweetener. You add just to sweeten up the beer. He's a proper expert. This one. Well, <laughs> I think the European Union. Um, they outlawed the name Milk Stout because it didn't contain milk some years ago. Right. Um, um, okay. Another reason to leave the EU. Uh, <laughs> if, if we need another reason. I'm <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, I'm not to, uh, trying to turn this into anything political. No, no. But why are we in it? Yeah. You know, sorry, well, the grandparents. For, Voted to join the common market. No, not, not to be yeah, ruled no. by who's president at the moment. Some, I don't know. some guy from Poland, the four presidents or something like that. None of yeah. us voted for him. 
Oh, anyway, yeah. that's another thing. That's no, another no, story. On there, but another story. <laughs> so, um, I got to ask. Sorry to put you on an awkward spot. What would you prefer? The, the, the get, nitro... out <laughs> get, get out of Europe. Get out of Europe. Get out of Europe. Europe. The, the, the nitro version or the on keg or the bottle version that's a nitro I'd prefer the bottle version because there's more flavour to it. Yeah. However, there's always a market for that nitro keg thing. People want a head like that, people want something like some something made with water from the Liffey that's made in Ireland. Can't remember their name, yeah. but <laughs> Every Irishman drinks it, and they, you know, despite the fact that it's uh, a duty. It was actually set up by a Protestant company in really? Dublin. Yeah, really? you know, get that family are uh, Protestants. <laughs> oh, right. So okay. um, another story. It's, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's something in Boston they seem to forget about. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So my family run Boston anyway. So right. Mayor Daly and all that type of stuff. <laughs> So, sorry, that's your car. So, is it? <laughs> I get confused with America. <laughs> it's it's a bit big. It is a bit big. Yeah, it's Lots not like it's stories. not like here. Yeah. Have some more beer. Have some more beer. Cheers. Have Glad you took beer. me up on the right one there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so, uh, brand new beer from Brewdog, uh, Jet Black Heart, 4.7% ABV, uh, oatmeal milk stout. Yeah, it's it's classic Brewdog. Uh, is it any different from any, any other? of the milk stouts that you've tried, is it better than, say, your, your Samuel Smith's Samuel Smith's don't oatmeal do a milk, stout? They do an oatmeal stout, they don't do a milk stout. Mm. I mean, uh, Bristol Beer Factory Leffy. do a um, yeah, yeah. milk stout. Why, why are we swearing here, bringing Leffe in? Yeah, yeah, we should yeah. be. Yeah. That's brewed in Leuven, <laughs> if you know. Uh, <laughs> left hand, left oh, hand. Sorry, milk. not Leffe. Left, left hand. hand. Don't think I tried their milk stout. But then, then again, this one, do you want me to put it at the... Mm, I like it. I like everything Brewdog do. Yeah. You know, agree. I've, agree. You know, I keep having to try their beers just to find one I don't like. Yeah. It's a very difficult job to do that. I want to find one eventually that I don't like. Yeah. I have to come in Brewdog and just try all their beers to find one I might not like. Mm, I agree. There's, and their it, beers are fantastic. I, st I still can't find one. <laughs> it's great. Yeah. Rating. 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 I'd give this 9 out of 10 for the bottled version. For the nacho keg version, I'm going to go down to 6 for that. Because I'm thinking it's missing a lot in the aroma. It's missing quite a bit in the taste there. But then again, there is a demand for people because they're used to drinking something from Ireland that looks like this and they want to dumb down something something with a nitro head. Yeah, um, yeah, I, I agree. Just you know, I'm old enough to remember when that certain brewery in Ireland used to actually produce a beer that tasted of roast barley in it and had flavour in it rather than what it became, yeah, yeah. which is just the marketing person's dream of a bland beer and a flavour to... And not fla it wasn't even a flavour, they got rid of flavour for it. Yeah. And they just sold it. Um, that's the experience of drinking it. So I'm not. A, that's why I'm not a fan of nitro keg. It's you know it's all done on the appearance of very little flavour. Flavour's still coming through here. I would still drink this if I had you know nothing else on there. On you know on that, well, yeah. crew dog we got loads to choose Plenty of other different beers to choose so from. So I've never drink this in a brew dog pub. It was in another pub instead of. Mm. That other company. I'm trying not to name them. Yeah. I've probably named them already. Um, I'll probably drink it. It is pleasant enough, but the bottled version is far better, in my opinion. There's far more flavour in the bottled version than there is in the nitro keg version. Yeah, totally agree. Totally agree. Lots of flavour. Uh, this is a very different drink to the, to the to the beer that's from the bottle. So yeah, six and a nine. I agree with that. Um, I hope you like this mini series. Um, we might make one more video. I'm going to ask him off camera before I get him back on. But uh, but uh, thanks, Arthur. Check him out on Brew Wales. Um, what's your yeah? It's Brew Wales. You'll find him. Brew Wales. I, I don't update it any longer. Though. Yeah. I, I use Facebook. I use Twitter. Untapped. Now. What's your untapped name? Um, probably Arthur D. Like my Twitter now. I can't Arthur remember <laughs> all these social media stuff. <laughs> Cheers.